If you are new, my name is Heather Elizabeth. It's nice to meet you and welcome to Antique Agenda. And on my channel, the main agenda is usually hunting for vintage and antiques to decorate my home. And that is what we're talking about today. All of these items are things that I plan on keeping and putting up somewhere in the house. Uh, I might have to do some rearranging on some items, but I found some really great things and I thought I would share them all with you. As most of you know, I like to decorate my home with vintage and antiques that are very European inspired. I love the English cottage look. I also love the shabby French brocante style. I would say that I am kind of a mix of traditional and flea market mushed together <laughs> uh, with European flair, something in that, in that genre or that lane or melding of lanes. <laughs> All right, so the first item that I want to show you is gonna be my favorite. We're gonna start with my favorite piece and it is a Florentine tray. Now, Florentine trays were extremely popular uh, in the mid-century as tourist souvenirs. Um, they are really beautiful if you love things that are gilded. And this one that I picked up, I did pay up for. I still am going to consider it a thrifted piece because I got it at an estate sale. So it is second hand. And also, if I were to find this online, I'm sure I would have had to pay double what I paid. So even though uh, you know it wasn't uh, under $10, uh, I am still happy that I found it. And it is a like a decoupaged um, center. And it is of a castle. Uh, very pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on the wall or just lean it up against uh, a shelf somewhere, but I was really happy to grab this. This is the first Florentine tray I have seen with a scene on it at an estate sale, so uh, I couldn't pass this one up. Super happy. The next items I bought for my home came in a pair and I did stand in line specifically at the sale for them. Uh, there were about 20 people ahead of me. So, uh, you know, I wasn't getting my hopes up, but I went straight to the master bathroom, which is where they were sitting in a box. And I was able to get them. And these were a great price. I got a pair of Italian metal toll candle sconces. And I do have several items like this in my home. I love them. They uh, really lend well to the shabby, shabby chic style or shabby brocante style um, or any sort of European look. And I know this doesn't have all the crystals, but there are some crystals in the box. And even if I don't have enough, I've got a bag of extras. So I know I will be able to put all the crystals back on. And I think I'm going to put these right up top on my mantle. Yeah, I think I'm going to put them up there and I think they're going to look great. So these are a total win for me. These were a great pickup at $25 for the pair. Okay, now I have some pieces of silver plate. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on silver plate, it is something that I am always attracted to, uh, especially older antique pieces. And I was able to pick up this beautiful repoussé bowl. Look at the beautiful florals. I absolutely love pieces like this. Uh, very Art Nouveau. It does have a monogram, the letter P. And if I ever wanted to take it to an engraver, I might be able to turn that P into a letter R. <laughs> <laughs> for my last name. So that is always a possibility. But to be honest, uh, I don't mind monograms. Uh, a lot of monograms are found on antiques and I don't think it should deter you from picking it up because it's just a part of the piece's history. Okay, and the other pieces of silver plate is a vanity set and it is this crystal lidded jar. You guys know I have a collection of these, so it's hard for me to walk away, but look at the lid on this one. Do you see the birds? 
extremely attractive decorative lid. Uh, I don't think it's sterling. It's definitely not marked. So uh, pretty sure this is just silver plate, but oh, the lid so beautiful. So picked up the crystal vanity jar and then also picked up the matching mirror. So these were great pieces. The vanity jar was 25 and the mirror was 10. So lovely little set. Very happy with those. Last piece of silver plate is, I think this is supposed to be a small cracker server, possibly a pickle server, but it's basically just a long slender basket. Beautiful feet, scalloped edges, and then gorgeous handle. And I thought this would be great for any long slender item. This could go great on a desk, with some pens and pencils in it. This could go in a bathroom for small soaps. Uh, it, it could even hold some tampons. It, it's the right length. <laughs> but I love this little piece, so I grabbed this too. And this is quadruplate. Uh, I don't think you might not, probably aren't gonna be able to see the hallmark, but this is quadruplate. So this is definitely a sweet little antique to pick up. And this was only five bucks. So that was a great thrifted little piece to take home. Next piece I picked up is this antique brass frame. You can see it was $20. Uh, these are beautiful, beautiful cast pieces. And uh, there are reproductions out there, but this is an antique. This is not a repro. I really love the metal decorations around the edges. And so I need to find a beautiful picture to uh, put in this frame so I can set it out. So picked up that for the house. I have another thing for the wall. It is a very sweet petty point floral. The frame itself, gorgeous. Between the molding and the mahogany, this is a beautiful piece, just the framework alone. And then, the handiwork in the petty point. Look at the teeny, teeny, tiny stitches. So this was beautiful. I couldn't let this one go. And this was $15. Now you might think that I am not giving you thrifted prices, but for true beautiful antiques, uh, these are great prices. And I still consider this a thrift haul. <laughs> um, now I have another piece, uh, which uh, not your typical thing. This is a piece probably from a bed, um, maybe another piece of furniture, but this was hanging over a door frame. And that's exactly how I wanna utilize this. I want to hang it up right above my door frame just to give it uh, a little more architectural um, interest. Uh, my home is not an old home. It's a mid-century uh, small tri-level home. So anything I can do to add uh, some uh, antique <laughs> historical looking architecture to my home where uh, it has none, then I absolutely jump at the chance. So this will go above the doorway and I think it'll look great. I also recently picked up some copper molds to add to my collection in the kitchen. This awesome larger pear um, and this cute little cherries. And then really cool, uh, this I probably will only keep up during Halloween, but a cauldron. Now you remember how excited I was when I found the spider. Uh, I was equally as tickled when I found this on the wall. So, uh, so delighted to have found another copper mold for Halloween. Uh, so just adorable with the uh, old fashioned cauldron hanging in the fireplace. This was a winner. 
Uh, great little piece, so I can't wait to get this on the wall. Um, I definitely am gonna have to do some rearranging. My copper mold collection is starting to grow, so that's something that I'm going to have to work on as well, but I am definitely happy to have some new additions in my copper mold collection. All right, a part of that bundle deal that I got with the architectural piece was I purchased a tapestry. I think I'm just going to insert some video footage of it because it is very long and hard to hold up. So I will insert that. And it is a beautiful long tapestry from France. It has a hunting dog at the bottom who looks like he is was trying to chase an animal in the forest, but a beautiful piece of woven artwork for the wall. I love tapestries. I think they're beautiful. I love the muted tones. Uh, just a wonderful piece to add. And ones that are this length, I think, could even be put on a larger door if you wanted to. But in my small home, it's definitely going to have to find a home on the wall. So that is another lovely treasure that I am excited to put in my home. Now, the last two pieces uh, I'm going to share, uh, I saved to the end because they are dolls and dolls are not to everyone's taste. So I didn't want to lose you before showing you most of everything else. So the first doll I found quite interesting. Uh, I don't think it is particularly super old, but it is extremely long. Uh, definitely deco inspired with her little bob haircut. And I thought she kind of reminded me of an Edward Gorey character. Uh, and I am a fan uh, of his illustrations. So when I saw her, I had to pick her up. I thought she could be uh, very cute at Halloween, um, really all year round, to be quite honest. But I picked up this little doll and she was only $6. And then... Uh, now this is going to look strange to any of you who aren't familiar with boudoir, um, poupée dolls, French salon dolls. Uh, this is a French salon doll, bed doll, sofa doll head on a pin cushion pillow. So I do have a collection of uh, these. I have uh, a doll. I have several heads. This is the very first where uh, I have one that was turned into a pillow pin cushion. I think she's gorgeous. This is something that I love. To a lot of you, you probably think, oh, that's perfect for Halloween. But no, this is going to go in my collection. I will be enjoying and admiring her year around in my cabinet. So beautiful addition to my boudoir salon doll collection. So fantastic find for me. <laughs> uh, to a lot of you, I know it's not to everyone's taste, but I did want to share. She is a recent pickup that I am going to put in my home as part of my home decor. All right, so that is everything that I have picked up recently for myself. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my treasures and enjoyed looking at some of the places where I'm putting them in my home. I really hope you are having a wonderful fall. And until I see all of you again, which by the way, in about five days, I'm gonna be going to Houston, Texas for the round top, huge interior designer, antique flea marketing event. And I am definitely going to bring you guys along. So we're gonna have a lot of fun adventures to look forward to on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. And until I see you all again, take care of yourselves and bye for now.